Cells are made up of molecules. The four most important types of biomolecules are proteins, nucleic acids, lipids, and carbohydrates. All of these are made up primarily of our four favorite types of atoms, carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, and nitrogen. And we've got some phosphorus and sulfur in there sometimes as well. But carbon is truly the secret sauce that is essential for all of these molecules. Why is that? Well, recall that carbon with its atomic number of six looks like this, two electrons in the first electron shell, leaving four for the outer electron shell. This means, as you've learned, that it can form four covalent bonds with other atoms, and this makes it incredibly versatile. Let's start by linking a bunch of carbons together. We can do this in a linear fashion like this. Here's methane, ethane, propane, butane, and we can keep on going. Fatty acids, for example, include a long chain of carbons like this, from four carbons all the way up to 28. They can have single bonds, they can also have double bonds, and of course, they have hydrogens as well. Remember, we need enough hydrogens for each carbon to be making four covalent bonds total. We'll call these molecules hydrocarbons because they're made up of hydrogen and carbon we can also have hydrocarbons that are linear um, and also branched. And carbons are also great at making ring structures. These structures can be pretty simple, such as this one. This is cyclohexane. Uh, they can be a little bit fancier and have some double covalent bonds. This is benzene, which has alternating single and double bonds. We see this a lot. And sometimes we can replace a carbon with a nitrogen or an oxygen, such as here. Now, this isn't strictly a hydrocarbon anymore since we're incorporating another type of atom, but that's great because it's an excellent segue into looking at important structures for biology. Ring structures are found in things like simple sugars, for example, here's glucose, and you can see that essentially this is a ring of carbons with an oxygen as part of the ring structure. And we have also added these hydroxyl groups, remember those? If we look at another sugar, deoxyribose, we see a five-sided ring with oxygen and a few hydroxyl groups. This sugar is one of the essential components of DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid. Okay, hopefully you have a better sense of carbon's versatility and how it can bind with other carbons to form the backbone of our major macromolecules, proteins, nucleic acids, lipids, and carbohydrates.